Hi everybody, it's Craft and Just Because with Chris Cowan. I'm just getting us set up here so that I can see comments and then we're going to go ahead and get started. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Thursday. Let's see here. There we go. I'm just getting us set Uh-oh. There we go. Okay. Let me get my keyboard out of the way here. Okie dokie. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We are playing with the Celebration of Tags stamp set this, um, this week. And it coordinates with the Trio of Tags dies. And we're going to be using those. Um, as you notice, um, this was a or this set, what am I trying to say? Blah, blah, blah. Um, the tags are all put together, but what I did with my stamps is I cut them apart because I like using them separate um, and giving them different colors, things like that. So I just wanted to let you guys know that. But the project that we're making today is a fun little um, gift card holder. And I will apologize ahead of time. I meant to... Um, do gold embossing and my embossing powder is not good so um, I went with my gold ink I know it is retired but we can get it on Amazon um, but the gift card holder this is just a belly band and then it opens up so that you could um, put a gift card and a message inside and I thought it would make a cute birthday gift or wedding gift I was just at a wedding so that's what why I had this on my brain and I love the stamp um, today and always. So let's go ahead and get that started. Okay, so we're going to need to bring in our paper trimmer. Mine needs a bath. And we're using some of the, or we're using Whisper White cardstock and then the Ornate Garden specialty designer series paper and I have lots of pieces here so I have a tag already cut out and then I have a bunch of pieces of the ornate garden um, cut out here and those dimensions I'm gonna go over them with you so it looks like I have three that are three and a half by two and a half that's those. And then I have two that are two and a quarter by two. And then I have one piece that is five eighths by three and a half. And then I have um, gold foil paper. And I have a bunch of sheets here. So it looks like I have three that are three and three quarters by two and three quarters. I have two that are two and a half by three and three quarters. I have our belly band, which is one inch by six and a half inches. And then I have another piece that is seven, eight, seven eighths by three and three quarters. And then I have our whisper white piece of paper and it is four and a quarter inches by 11. And then we need another piece that is cut um, so that you can have room to write a message. And this is cut at three and a quarter by two and a quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna work first with the long piece of Whisper White paper. And what we wanna do is on the 11 inch side, we wanna score it at two and seven eighths and seven inches. So two and seven eighths, and then seven inches. Okay, then on the four and a quarter inch side, we want to score it at three inches. Okay, so now what we want to do is 
we want to put our smallest rectangles so the where we just scored that we want facing up towards the top of our trimmer and at the three inch score line we want to cut let's see here how am I going to do this? Let me. See. I don't want to mess up here, so I just want to layer this on really quick just to look. Okay. So what we're going to do, I apologize. We're going to put it back where we just scored that score line, okay? So you're going to put that in the paper trimmer. So you have your largest rec or rectangles on, on your left-hand side, and then you have your score line right in the middle where the cutting blade is. And we are going to cut it down all the way to seven inches. So I'm gonna take my cutter and I'm gonna move it down all the way to seven inches, okay? Now I'm gonna move my, my um, paper trimmer and I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm going to just wedge this out just a tiny bit, just like that, okay? So this is what you're left with. This we're gonna get rid of, okay? Now we're gonna bring in our bone folder and we're gonna fold up on the score lines here and wet and burnish those. So this is where your gift card will be. So this is how it's gonna look, just like this. So when you open it up, you have your spot for your gift card, okay? So now we're gonna layer all of our pieces down. So I'm gonna go ahead and first take my gold foil paper and I'm gonna layer down all of the Ornate Garden um, Designer Series paper. Just like this. Oh, did I do this one opposite? We might, we're gonna have to cut this piece down. That's okay though. So we're gonna take our glue and we're gonna glue all these pieces down. Hi Jenna. I'm glad you joined us. Okay, so you got to be careful if you're using liquid multi-purpose glue on this one, just because the glue kind of moves it around on that gold foil paper. But that's why we're going to set it aside. And then on one of the big rectangles, I also cut that small piece of Whisper White, we're gonna go ahead and, and add that to this one so that we can have a spot where we can write a message to um, whoever we're give, give, gifting this gift card to. Okay, put that aside. So this one's an easy project. It just has a lot of layers which is fine, and you can use any papers. Remember, you don't have to use exactly what I have. Use your stash of stuff that you have laying around the house. These are just ideas to get you going in making some wonderful projects to gift to people. Okay, now before we glue all these pieces down, I'm going to make sure that I cut this designer series paper. 
And so let me measure this because I obviously got it completely wrong. So seven eighths by, okay. So let's cut this piece down. Cut that much off. And then I already forgot the measurement on this end. By three and an eighth. Okay. Now I think we're in business. Okie dokie. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and layer all of our pieces onto our um, our little holder here. So where I'm going to put the one that has the whisper white piece, I'm going to put it there in the center so that you have time or a place to write and it's easy to get to. So there's that piece. Okay, and then we got to decorate the front. And then the other front flap. Oops. Oh man. No, I had it right. I thought maybe I had it on wrong. Okay. There we go. Okie dokie. Now what we want to do is we want to take our belly band, which is the longer strip of paper, and I like to do it to where so that I cover up where I'm making my overlap here, because as you could see, there's just a tiny bit of an overlap. So I'm going to put a tiny thin strip of glue, just like this and then press that down, okay? And then my tag will fit right over it so that you can't, um, you can't see that overlap. So on our tag, we're gonna take our gold ink and we are going to trying to find my white ribbon here. There it is. Okay. We're going to stamp our image that says today and always. And like I said prior, hi Roz. I know I loved, as soon as I started playing with this stamp set, I knew I wanted to make it with these papers um, and just layer it up because it's just so beautiful. Okay, so as I mentioned before, I did cut apart. So each of these strips is usually one whole stamp, but I cut mine apart so that I could use it for different purposes. And I'm going to dip it in my gold ink and center that down. Just like that. Oh, I got a little smudge on it. Dang it. Oh well, it's okay. I'm just wiping this off really quick and then I'll use my stamp cleaner in a minute. Okay, so what I then did 
is I took some Stampin' Dimensionals and I'm going to cut off a piece just like that and put it onto my belly band. So just like that. And then I took our white ribbon that's in the flowers for every season, I believe, combo pack. And I just kind of put it underneath the belly band and around, I'm just gonna tie a knot. I'm not even doing a bow. Well, no, let's do a bow. I think that'd be pretty. So hold on, let's do this. I'm gonna change up my thing. I'm also gonna add some of this gold, um, this gold thread. Each paper has two sides, rest, amp, and on. Uh, exactly. I know sometimes it's hard to decide which paper you wanna use on which design. Okay, so I'm gonna put these together and I'm gonna tie a bow maybe yeah okay it's because I'm on camera and I don't have it close to me here. There we go. Okay, then you're gonna play with it. So let me cut off my ends here and we'll play with it and get it all pretty. Oh, no problem, Jenny. You can always watch the replay. We're almost done with our project. It was a super simple one today, but I appreciate you joining me. Okay. So let's cut this at an angle. So there's our project for today, you guys. So then you take the belly band off and um, then you have your spot for your message and then your gift card can go there. Now what you can do, actually, and I think I'm gonna do this now that I'm looking at this, let's go ahead and glue this one side down um, so that your gift card doesn't slide out when you're gifting to them. Press that down. That way, when you put your gift card in there, like like this, it won't it won't fall out. I didn't do that on my original one and I think I might go back and do that. And then you can just slide your belly band right back on to your project, just like that. So I totally appreciate you guys joining me today. Um, stay tuned for another project tomorrow using this same set. Um, it will be playing, I'm trying to remember what we're playing with. Um, Oh, I'm using the here's to you and it's a little um, treat bag. So you guys have a great night. Thank you guys. And I'll talk to you guys again later. Bye-bye.